on today's episode of Moto Cheese. Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. <laughs> the following movie is rated I. Look what we got here, boys. Another totally awesome scooter. These things are super impressive and a little bit scary, to be honest. Be careful. This weighs 88.8 .8 pounds. It says in single mode, you can go 25 degree hill, and in dual mode, you can do 35 degree hill. Dual motors, that is. Maximum load is 265 pounds. It is IP54 waterproof. The frame is aluminum alloy. Maximum range is 55 miles. The speed level in single motor is 15, 28, and 34 miles an hour. And in dual motor, it's 15, 28, and 41 miles an hour. Each wheel has two 1200 watt drive hubs with a 1600 max RPM. It's a 23.2 amp hour battery, 52 volt, 1206.4 watt hour. Charge time is 12 hours with a single 2 amp charger and 6 hours with two 2 amp chargers. Tires are 10 by 2.5 with inner tubes. They are off-road pneumatic style rubber tires. And the LCD is a 4 inch. Recommended rider height is 5 foot to 6 foot 7. So the back shock is adjustable spring force. The front shock is also adjustable for the spring force. They are hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. Nice disc brakes. They work well. It's a nice bright headlight. Check this out. Combination. All zeros is default. Removable battery. You want to change the combination. There's a pin right there to set it. Yeah, let's fold her up. <laughs> there you go, take it away. Pop a wheelie. Thing rips, huh? Yeah. When you punch it, you hear it go. Yeah, the front tire. On the pavement, it does it. It'll burn out on pavement while you're taking off. Let's take this baby for a ride. Make sure we're on dual. Zero to top speed, dual motor. Whoa, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Cruise is riding along, 35. So we got four miles now. Like I said, this thing handles pretty damn good. I just did that corner at 30. Damn, jamming. We're not gonna be coming back that way. That's six miles. Like I've said before, your speed and your terrain affects the battery life. Oh, these sidewalks are shot. This thing scoots right along. Horror. 
Now this is different than the other awesome scooters. They usually have the little trigger. I like the thumb better. Yeah, they're going mudding. Oh man. Wow. This is like holy mackerel. Guess I gotta cross, boys. It's pretty uh impressive through that sand and that was like real soft sand. But you definitely gotta have it in two-wheel drive. You're gonna have to redo all these sidewalks. Now these scooters are way more convenient if you're going somewhere like the city and you don't want to rent those scooters. But you definitely gotta keep it on number one. You don't want to be flying around the city. You will get a ticket. Oh, look at that vet. So I'm cruising around right now, number two, because the sidewalk is in pretty rough shape. Hmm, a little dirt. They didn't have that on the other side. How you doing? Stick. Really? You want some? Here we go, turbo. I'm beating them, I'm weaning. <laughs> oh wow, this is open. Let's go in there. Not supposed to, but we'll go look anyway. I think this is as far as we'll go, boys. Eight miles. Oh, he wants some too. You don't want none. Make me kick in my turbo. <laughs> so I'm not sure if there's a seat kit available for this. But if there is, it's a mount. it mounts different than the other ones. I kind of like the seat, just to relax once in a while. But it does get in the way if you're going to be folding it up a lot. Nine miles. And it looks like three out of ten used. You guys laugh when I put my foot, one foot in front of the other, but... I want you to ride in a while, it's a little more comfortable. Not much throttle lag on this. 10 miles. Now I'm on single mode and when I'm floored, I use four out of 10 out of the battery. I feel it's a more accurate gauge, having that style gauge. Ooh, that's beat up. Definitely gonna go dual battery to cross here. Should probably hit that button, huh? There we go. 11 miles. Only use four out of 10 on a battery. That guy must be still having technical difficulties with the quad. Crystal River High School. Is that jogger? No, that's a different one. There's no way you made it this far. Maybe. I did go quite a ways the other way. Woo! <laughs> Man, that one was soft, soft, soft. That's what she said. Almost felt like I was gonna flip forward, but I didn't, luckily. 12 miles. Looks like we used five for the battery. Should I attempt to take the power line back? Oh man. Okay, I'll do it. As long as I have enough battery. Because that's going to suck the battery right up. I know it. <laughs> Must be new drainage or sewer or something. She handles good, boys. In dual, I got three bars left when I'm floored, so I guess I can attempt to power lines with all that sugar sand. Cruising along 33, because we have three bars left on the battery. 
13 miles. Of course, the higher the voltage, the faster you're gonna go. Yeah, when you're going this fast, the wind is so loud, you can't hear nothing. Wow, that's real bad already. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's squirrely, boys. Oh, definitely squirrely. And I'm leaning way back. Woo! Oh, yeah. She's squirrely, boys. A little harder here. Hard packed, easier to ride on, I should say. Oh, almost wrecked her. Wrecked them. Almost killed her. Whoa. Ah, oh, UPS man. Meow meow. You just don't fall, you're not a big walk daddy. Watch out. 14 miles. Still got half the battery. A few moments later. Well, let's run this battery out. Still has five of five bars. 14 miles. Thing is torquey. Lean back on this sugar sand. And it does slow you down. Pulls it down to two bars when you're driving, two to three. So I don't know how many more miles you're gonna get out of it, but when it gets down to one bar, I'm heading home. The sand really sucks the battery out. Suspension's doing its job. And I think the thumb throttle compared to the trigger throttle is a lot less sensitive. The other one was crazy when you'd hit it. If it does have regenerative braking, I don't think it's turned on. He liked it. In dual mode will catch him. One bar when I'm wide open in dual mode. We're catching him. He didn't want none. 16 miles, two bars on the throttle, three bars off the throttle. Flashing one to two bars. See if we can make it around this loop. Back home, Got another two miles. Yeah, it says we have 44.2 volts, so I don't know when this kicks off. Maybe 42. What's that? Is that a duster? Yeah, I see top speed. Oh, left my blinker on. Top speed in single mode is like 18, 19 now. 17 miles. Oh, there's that same car. I think he's from the garage over here. 18 miles. One bar if I'm on the battery, two bars if I let off. Oh yeah, I see dual mode. Isn't making much difference, but it does flash the battery. So we'll limp home on single motor. I don't want to have to kick this home. <laughs> then we'll get into the settings. Yeah, top speed's like 15 now. Oh, I hope we make it home. Cheesy, you always push it, always push it. There's no pedals on this though. I don't even think there's a push assist. Yeah, I think that guy with the garage. We'll see. Yeah, I, I hear him. There he is. Man, oh, don't chase me. My top speed now is 12. 18 miles. Oh, now they bark at me. Thankfully not outside the gate. Oh boy, top speed is 11. I'm going up this tiny hill. 
I don't know if we're gonna make it home, boys. Darn it. Downhill, getting a little speed, 13. I don't think there's gonna be enough power to make it back through the sand on my road. Down to 43 volts. I wonder if I push dual. Ah, oh, boy. I was ready to shut off, about a mile away. That's it, boys. Let's see. We'll keep it on number one, how's that? Yeah, I think 43 volts must be the cutoff. Oh no! I'm not pushing this, I'm never gonna make it. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can make it to the end of my street. My wife can pick me up there. Just about 19 miles we'll get out of her. Got a little juice back just sitting. You can see, if I give it a little more gas, it starts flashing. And you got an error 015, which means it's dead. Not too bad, boys. Now we'll have to fold her up and see how it goes in this Jeep, huh? Put it in the back seat. My hero. Well, does fit in the back of a Jeep. So that's how it'll fit in the back of a Jeep. Got a few inches on each side to spare. Now don't let it fool you, even though it looks little. It's pretty heavy to maneuver. We'll plug her in and charge it up. You can use either one of these, of course, or both if you have another charger. Can only be used by one adult at a time. No extra passengers. That's what she said. User's manual. Awesome Swiss Army folding tool set, which comes with a little bit of everything. Regular, Phillips, three sockets, a couple wrenches, and some Allens. One battery charger, a little hand pump. Very minimal assembly required. Oh, the key's in there now. Still waiting on my garage. Guess they're waiting on the garage doors. Then just put the handlebars on. Uh, right there. Feels good. Center the knurl. And tighten these, tighten these Allen bolts down. Guess we're gonna see how this thing does in a floor to sand. Sugar sand, that is. This is all wheel drive. Headlight, blinkers. That's it for assembly. Took a whole five minutes. The keys are right here. Turn the key on. Hold that power button to power it up. And there you are. That's your headlight. And your marker lights all around. Blinkers. Looks like a nice bright headlight though. Showed you single or dual there. There's no turbo button like the old ones. Needs to be charged. So let's drive her over and charge it up. One more tie wrap. So five minutes and one second. So this comes with one charger, not two. And as a bunch of you guys mentioned last time, it only has one battery, but the dual charger just makes it charge faster. You definitely want to check the tire pressure. The back feels good, the front a little low. Yes, it is a 52 volt battery. It's a single battery. As I was corrected on the last two I reviewed, I thought they were double batteries. My bad. But then some of you tried to say it was a 48 volt. It is not. It is a 52 volt. Let's let this fully charge. So if you turn it on, power it on, and you tap the select button three times fast, 
you got P01 and if you hold it it's miles per hour or kilometers then hold it again then you have a PO5, I don't know what that is. PO6, I don't know what that is. PO7 is 100. PO8 is 05. I don't know what any of these are. PA is 5. P6 is 0. PC is 0. And back there. I think it's a well built, awesome scooter. Just like the last three that I've reviewed. This thing did very, very good in the sand. I was overly impressed. Never thought I'd be able to ride in the sand at all, to be honest, with those smaller tires. The battery lasted decent since I was in dual mode. That pulls a lot of juice when you're going that fast in dual mode, especially taking off. So I think it's a great value if you're looking for something to get around. It's great for the city. It's easily folded up to fit in any vehicle. It's a little heavy to put in there. So I'll put any discount codes that they give me in the description down below. And thanks again for watching. That's right. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.